y'all. It's your favorite fly girl, Bougie P, with my girl. Lampy, your favorite meal. Yes, and we are on the Bougie Way. Ain't no right or wrong way, just the Bougie Way. As you see, we ain't got big dog P here, so sending all the love and best wishes out to her. Love you. Yes. Yeah. All right, Bougie. And we're back, you guys. And we are back. So, Bougie. How you been? Lynn P. I've been great. How have you been? You know, same shit, different toilet. Same here. Just trying to get a couple videos, new tracks out the way. I actually got a lot of heat I'm about to drop. Okay, yeah, because summer 2023. I cannot wait. And, um, yeah, I'm going to pop my shit all 2023, respectfully. I have to. It's a must. It, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a must. You, It's your time. Your time is now. It's the bougie way, and that's on that. Period. Ain't no right or wrong way. But the bougie the, way. Period. So, Hello. Of course, let's first go to get into these um, warm up questions. I like to call them because you know every time you come on here, I know fans want to know something new every time. Like where are you from? Da, 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 da. So I'm gonna go ahead and have Lynn ask me some of uh, what. Well, Ask me about five questions, not too many. Okay, okay, okay. From the fans and what they want to know this week. Okay, so I got the list here. So I'm going to start off with the first question, and that is, who is Bougie P? Ooh. Bougie P is my alter ego. You know what I'm saying? Um, for those who don't know me, uh, my name is Parrish. You know what I'm saying? But Bougie is the person that speaks for Parrish. Like, Parrish is a quiet person. She's so reserved, laid back. You know, Bougie's like that too, but she's more talkative. She'll pop her shit. She'll let you know. I want to just say it's more like my inner feelings. Bougie P is like my inner feelings. Okay, so Bougie P is more so, like you said, your alter ego, the one that... The extrovert person. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Parrish is the introvert, but Bougie P is the extrovert. Right. So... My next question is, how do you balance that? Like, are you kind of, do you catch yourself sometimes being kind of stuck in bougie pee? Or do you feel more so like parish, but when you have to, you'll switch to bougie pee when you got to? Um, I think that it's already really balanced out, like, because <clears throat> of the people I have around me. The okay. people that knew me before bougie okay. so when i'm around those people i feel like i'm always gonna be perish and then when i'm going to a show and i'm looking bad as fuck I, I don't be paying attention nobody uh, you don't know me you can't sit with me <laughs> I, none I, of that. Can't sit with that you know what i'm saying <laughs> so um thank god to have real people genuine people around you that knew you before you were you you know what i'm saying for sure because that for definitely sure. keeps the balance in me like around family i'm gonna be peeing around fans always bougie <laughs> gotta be bougie period okay so the next question for the fans um let's see here how long have you been rapping um one two three four five about six years now okay, okay. yeah roughly five, five and a half but we're gonna go with six let's okay, go so you, you ain't new to this you true to this been true to this okay period yeah. <laughs> how about on a beat you know i'm gonna eat hello all these bitches is my daughters. I should have swallowed a season. Maybe put it in his bag. Uh -huh. Oh, shit. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? <laughs> if I'm going on a lick, then I'm pulling up in the truck. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. yeah. And that was just a snippet, y'all. Just wait till summer it's 2023. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Okay, so next question for the fans. This is a good one. Have you had any setbacks? I would say I had during my music career. Yeah, during your music career, have you had any setbacks within the five years of you, five and a half years you've been rapping? Have you had any setbacks, minor or big? Mm. The only setback I can remember is just breaking my ankle and having to sit down and go to like physical therapy and take all this time off of music. Like, mm -hmm. it was times I was feeling so bad when I was sitting down, I did like. Fly Girl and 94 Baby. Make sure y'all go check those videos out. But I did For those sure. videos and I still was on crutches at the time. So And she was doing the damn thing. Trust and believe me. When I say my girl is hard working, listen, I'm going to tell y'all a little quick story. This is off the topic real quick. But my girl was literally doing a cover tape in the club, y'all. We in the club. And my girl was so determined. That she did a cover tape inside the club. But we sitting on the couch. I'm standing up dancing. And I turn. And I'm looking. And I'm like. That's when I knew my, my yeah. bitch was hungry. She was hungry. I ain't never seen nobody in the club mm -hmm. working on a craft. In the club. 
music loud and you exactly. that focused that's determination exactly that's determination right there that is pure determination i love it i love it okay so the next question is how do you feel about the music industry especially with you wanting to get in that lane how do you genuinely feel about it um i feel like the music industry is a game you just got to be ready to play you so would you say chestnut checkers Definitely chestnut checkers. Okay. Uh, we all want this bad before the fame. And when the fame come, it's a lot of work you got to put in that you thought you was putting in. Now that you finna have to put in 10 times more in the industry. Um, it is a lot of fuck shit that goes on in the industry. But I feel like everybody gets screwed over at least once. Okay. I feel like in order to be famous, you have to get fucked over at least once. Respectfully. But other than that. I'm ready for it. The question is, are you ready for me? Are they ready for me? I think they're ready. And I'm if they're scared, and if they not, they're going to get ready by the end of this <laughs> summer. And that's just that on that. Period. Yes, yes. Okay, so my next question for you is, who are some of the people that you listened to growing up? Growing up, for sure, I listened to a lot of Aaliyah, Destiny's Child. Missy Elliott, you know, that was around my time. Um, Tupac, for sure. My dad listened to a lot of Tupac, so it would be times where I was listening to Tupac, and I had been probably about 12, maybe, and it's just like I just gravitated to whatever that man was spitting because I'm like, okay, I like this. I like the way he's talking. I like mm -hmm. the way he's making it sound, and so I would be in my room sometimes writing down Tupac lyrics just so <laughs> I can have them memorized in my head, da -da -da -da. and um, yeah. I just, I, that's who I listen to. I listen to a lot of DMX too. Rest in peace, DMX. Rest in peace to Tupac, DMX, all the long live legends, Dolph, everybody. Take yeah. off. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Take for off. sure. But those are most of the people that I listen to growing up. And my biggest inspirations is Aaliyah and Tupac. Because I feel like I, when it comes to my aura, I can give that sweetheart, that baby girl, that, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not one of these raunchy rappers that got to be loud and do all that. Yeah. If y'all know I'm Parrish, really <laughs> for real, for real, you, she definitely gives the Aaliyah vibe. And then the Tupac <laughs> is like that bougie in me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's for just what sure. it is. That's for just what it is. sure. Okay. So my last question for the fans is your top three bougie P songs that made, that made you feel more connected to. My top three bougie P songs that I feel more connected to. I would say, I Thought You Knew. Okay. Um, let's do, oh, I love all of my songs. So I was like, what the fuck? Which is um, hard. Damn Canary, Thought You Knew. Okay. And definitely Talk To Me Nice. This is my That's my baby. That was my first yeah. song. I'm always be connected to Talk To Me Nice. But thought you knew in Damn Canary, when we was talking about the fall back setbacks and shit, mm -hmm. um, when I broke my ankle, I wrote those songs based off how I felt at that moment. So when I hear it, it's like, yeah, that's what I went through. That's what I got through. And that's why it sounds the way it sounds, you know? It definitely it wasn't has that for passion that, and that hunger in it. Right. If it wasn't for the pain I was feeling at the time, I feel like I couldn't, I probably wouldn't even thought of that. Even to make those music tracks, so most definitely, yeah. But other than I am connected to all my music, but those are my top three. Yeah, those top are three. those are good. Those are a good three. I can say those are a part of my top ten. But I really like all. What's of your favorite? What's your top three bougie P songs? Favorite bougie P songs? Oh, okay. Um, top three. I'm definitely gonna go with Fly Girl. Oh yeah, I love Fly Girl. Too. Fly Girl, definitely. That's one of my ones. It's not number one, but it's one of my ones. Um, let's see here. I gotta go through the whole Bougie B catalog. It's a long uh, it list. Is it's a long list, y'all. It's a long list. Um, <sighs> Fly Girl. Mm, let's see here. I'm definitely gonna have to go with fuck like you dance even though you're just featured on that song i definitely fuck with that song oh for sure when That's it comes to a feature baby 
My girl get it done. You only got okay. 16 bars to prove my that you that it, bitch. My girl get it done. <laughs> when I tell you, I always rewind it back just to her part. Like, that's just that on that. Um, and... Damn Canary. Damn Canary. Damn Canary, for sure. Damn Canary. And when I tell y'all, I'm going to tell y'all something. I don't get goosebumps to music. For real, for real. But you know when that shit hit, you get them goosebumps. When my girl first played that shit in the car, <laughs> y'all, I had goosebumps. <laughs> and I looked at her and I said... And I was surprised because I'm like, you felt them too? I said... That's I when I knew we were meant to be best friends. Oh, God. If you feel the goosebumps... <laughs> if you feel the goosebumps... You know what's up. <laughs> you know what's up. And when I looked at her, and I didn't even call her bougie. She know when I'm serious when I call her Parish. Yeah. I said, Parish. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah, yeah that's, that's it. That's, that's it. That's all. That's it. That's all. But yeah, Fly Girl, Damn Canary, and then what was the other one I just named? It was Fly Girl, Damn Canary, Fuck Like You Dance. Fuck Like You Dance. Yeah, Fuck Like You Dance. Cause that's my oh yeah. Every time I be I be ready to dance. Yeah. Yeah. One thing Actually, can I can I change Fuck Like You Dance to? I want to switch it up because this song is so cute, but it definitely gave me. The kind of feeling of the ghetto Christmas tale song back in the day. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. All I want. All I want. Yeah. All I want. All I want. Yeah. Make sure y'all tune into that for December of 2023. That's probably the best Christmas song out there on the market. Honestly, right I now. promise y'all. I'm trying to tell you. All I want for Christmas is your dick crusher. Yeah. And some. And the kisses. Let me taste your adolescence. <laughs> 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 One thing I got to know about Lynn, and like I said, all wishes to Mama Big P. Dog P. Yeah, Big. I'm sorry, Big Dog P. Yeah. yeah. But when I'm at my shows, y'all, and I run out of spit, hmm. they gonna pick it up. Okay. Every so time. there's no words being missed at all. Not at all. I, I told her, wait till you get to the big stage. If you ever get out of breath, friend, pass me the mic. I'll be in the back. As I, I I'm gonna do that. Every Behind time. the curtain. Come <laughs> look at the body. I know every lyric word for word. Even my daughter does. Yeah. Okay. No, seriously. Shout out to Lele, too. Mommy loves you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now let's get into tea time, which is tequila time. See, I got my tequila. She got her teleport. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what this, what we do here is we do this or that. You have to either choose this or, or that. that. <laughs> if you choose both, take a sip, take a shot, but drink that motherfucking thing. You feel me? <laughs> Hello. Drink that drink, period. Okay, so... Let me start off with you, Lynn. Since I had the rundown. Okay. Nikki or Cardi? Nikki. Ooh. I'm I love Cardi. I fuck with Cardi. But at the end of the day, I fuck with Nikki because of her hunger. From the jump off videos to where she is now. As an artist... She dominated the game. She dominated the game. Give her I gotta give her her flowers. She dominated the game, me growing up. Like, I went to my first Nicki Minaj concert at 16, and I was in awe. Like, in <laughs> awe. And I don't be in awe for nobody. Listen, I'm gonna say both, because I want a feature from both of you. And I'm gonna take my <laughs> shot and go ahead and get to sip I man. party, period. Bodak Yellow was still that, that yeah. 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 <laughs> I stay on her mind. I got condos in that bitch head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead and ask me the next one. Okay, so this or that, Miss Bougie. Um Chanel or Prada. The crazy thing is I don't own either. But I'm going to go with Prada because it starts with a P. And if you know Bougie P, you know I like everything that starts with a P. Don't Except tell me proud of me. You got a Prada. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Big on that, though. So, <laughs> you, what about you, Miss Lynn? Mm -hmm. Well, since I got my first Prada on my 25th birthday, I'm going to say Prada. One thing I got to know is I'm Bougie, but she's bougier than me. Yeah, I'm really the Bougie <laughs> one. Not even going to hold y'all. But, I, I, but I, I let my girl, you know, but when, you'll know for sure. I'm Yeah. Mm, 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 cool. I don't do that. <laughs> okay, let's see the next this or that. Um, Lil Baby or Future? Oh, both. <sighs> I'm going to say both, I too, so both. let's go ahead and take a shot for both Yeah, because... Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take two of them, one for Future and one for mm. my baby. That was a baby. Hold on. Mm-hmm. I might have to pop, pop a perk for Future. Okay. I don't know. But, yeah. 
Yeah, for shit sure. Okay, so. I already know the answer to Well, I don't know. You might surprise me. Mm -hmm. um, tequila or Hennessy? <sighs> it just depends on the type of night, but um, I'm going to go with tequila. Okay. Because I'm going to choose tequila every time. Okay. You like tequila? I love tequila, but, What's you know, your favorite? but you know me, I'm going to do both regardless if we out. What's your favorite brand of tequila? You put me on a Jose. For sure. Jose for the light, babe. The, Ho the, yeah. yeah. Jose yeah. for like the slow turn up. Right. Um, Casamigo. Casamigos I had amigos carrying to the casa. Okay. That's just how that's going to go. <laughs> okay. And that goes hand in hand with the Ceremonia Luna Zulu. <laughs> Anything uh, with some Spanish shit, be yeah, mindful. If you got a <laughs> on your thong, then you know it's a little too much for you, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying. But you know, on a good night when we out, I mix both. I'm a, I'm I'm a, I'm grown. Yeah. I do both. Period. Okay, let me see. What's done here? Okay, so natural body or BBL body? Lean. <laughs> That's a tough one. Um, I'm going to know. Actually, it's really not. I'm going to say natural because a lot of these bitches nowadays with their BBLs, it just don't look right. Yeah, like, no. It, it, it's not looking right because I just personally feel, and it's no shade to my BBL girls because at one point, I definitely wanted a BBL. But it's just more so like, I feel like if you get a BBL, why your body still big? Me personally, if you're going to get it done, get it done the right way. Don't play the cheap way out. Yeah, please. I need I need to get your body like, like army. Okay, because I'm not against the fake bodies mm -mm. but let it be right yeah for sure that's all i'm saying because if i'm gonna get a bbl i need mine to look like jello like ari fletcher yeah. okay needle wobbly wobbly wobble 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 <laughs> so fat all these niggas <laughs> come on nikki <laughs> 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 all right um let's see this or that mm. she ain't a fashion over Ooh, mm -hmm. Sheen or Fashion Nova, for y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with Sheen. I used to be a Fashion Nova baby. Mm -hmm. I tagged them in everything. But Hashtag Nova, Nova babe. They didn't want to <laughs> cut the check, so I had to move over to Sheen for a second. Yeah, and honestly, I'm not going to hold you. I think Fashion Nova had the game for like 2017 to like 2020. But then they started to fall off a little bit, and then Sheen came about. Because I remember when I first ordered something for Sheen, I was just like, the material, I don't like it. But they got it together. It was janky at first. For sure. Just the more sure. people gravitated towards Sheen, Sheen. they're like, all right, let's throw our game out. These yeah. bitches is buying. Okay. They buying. The girls are buying, <laughs> so let's step up the workers. And, and on the, uh, pro yeah, get it together, please. Get it together. Okay, last this or that for me and for you. Okay. Um, is Little Kim or Foxy Brown? Mm. Because to be honest, I'm a '94 baby, so mm. and I'm '96. If anything, I've always listened to Little Kim yeah. more than Foxy. For I honestly couldn't even recite a Foxy. Brown I couldn't song. either. So I mean, no, no shade to her because I know if I heard something, it'll probably like sound familiar. But like we said, we '90 babies. We so. '90s babies, and I'm the late kind of '90s. I'm '96, so I'm gonna go with Little Kim. So let's just take a shot for Lil' Kim. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Shout out to Foxy, though. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Foxy, because I, if I heard, like I said, if I heard a song, I definitely probably would remember it. But shout out to all the female yeah. rappers in the game, but just know that Bushy P is coming. When yeah. I come, you better step this up, motherfucker. Sad. You know what I'm saying? I just hope they're ready. And if they're not ready, they will be ready. Yeah. And that's just that. The bougie way. Hello. <laughs> Let's go on a quick commercial. Okay, period. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll be back in just a second, guys. Okay. <laughs> hey, y'all. This commercial break is brought to you by The Long Way Premium Leafs. Period. You better get yours. Um, it's a big ass leaf. Okay. I'm going to just put it out there. And, and you only can be 21 in order to purchase, okay? Yes. Don't be fast. Trying to come out here and get these woods, you ain't enough, old enough. But make sure y'all come get y'all premium long way leaves. He also has ASMR. <laughs> he has the trays, um, which is also magnetic for people who don't like breaking weed out with your hands. This is for you. Okay. Yeah, this is 
for you because the stuff they putting on this week nowadays to have your hands too sticky, icky, icky. Yeah. And we don't so. like that. Mm -hmm. Get your long ways. Premium leaves. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers okay. to everything. Cheers to y'all. Cheers. Cheers to y'all. Cheers to life. Cheers mm -hmm. to mo life. Okay, happiness, prosperity, yeah. longevity, just mm. everything. Just cheers because we still alive because somebody didn't wake up this morning. Exactly. But y'all did because y'all watch it. So that's just a <laughs> reminder to thank God for another day. Amen. So let's get into some people that's been in the media a lot this week. Who are you talking about? Because it's been a lot of people. <laughs> Blueface and Krishan Rock. Oh, Jesus. Like, they've been on it nonstop. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, hey. Wednesday, Thursday, hey. Friday, Saturday. Hey. Too much. Blueface and Krishan, honestly, I feel like she could do better, but she doesn't want to do better, which I understand because there's a comfortability level with him. Because no lie, I definitely... Reading text messages from the shade room in the neighborhood talk shout out to y'all um that post them a lot you know the blogs mm. it's like every girl have every girl has dealt with a man like him once before a narcissist has been done yeah over a and have, we all been done we've all fall short over a nigga one time but it's just like me personally like bobby light said baby i wish you just wouldn't have you know got pregnant because it's like you know do you think she's really pregnant child I'm going to give her two I more feel like, I'm going to give her two like, more months to see a belly. <laughs> I feel like I'll be looking more pregnant than her after I eat a steak sandwich. I feel like I look more pregnant than her now and I ain't even pregnant. <laughs> so, with that being said, I need to give her two, three more months to see if that belly going to pop. Yeah. And here's my thing. Years ago, we blackballed Chris Brown for the situation. He had but y'all praised it and got a whole TV show with yeah, Blueface and Krishan. That's my thing. crazy. That's my thing. So, Which is crazy. So as are we accepting that now? If that's the case, why did y'all give that man hell? That's and they're still I'm giving saying. him hell now. They're still giving him hell now. There was just allegations last week about um, Chris Brown beating on his baby mama out of town with some female that was with them. Oh, God. Leave it to Lynn to spill the tea, y'all. Yeah, one thing about it, two things for sure. <laughs> I'm going to look into it. And I don't, I don't like that because Chris Brown was my man at one point in time. So yeah, you know, Chris Brown is still that guy. He's still that, still and he's that so guy. talented. Because listen, y'all, I, I went to a Chris Brown concert. I think it was 2019. And when I say that man is an entertainer, mm. that man, as soon as he hopped up on that stage from the platform, he got to, he got to. <laughs> let me see if you can run it, run it. Yeah. I'm talking about. I was just like, <laughs> oh my god, like. Sir. That was the song. It oh my was. god. <laughs> Take me back. That was number 11 on his self titled Chris Brown uh, album. Yeah, number 11 popping. If you know, you know. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, speaking of men, Krishan Rock, Blueface, let's just get into the turn offs and turn offs about a man. Like, okay. what turns you off about a man first? Poor hygiene, poor communication, lack of respect. Um, for anybody, like, and just, you know, one-sided. Like, I hate a man that's just one-sided. It's just, like, his way or the highway. Because I just personally feel like if we're together, we're a team. So just like how you want me to honor and respect mm -hmm. you, I feel like as your woman, you should honor and respect me. Because if you're here, if you're in my life to, you know, not necessarily be, like, you know, my dad, but be yeah. a teacher, you know, I feel like, teach me teach me and i'm gonna teach you i'm gonna pick up where you lack and you're gonna pick up where i lack but don't think that you know i don't have my own mind because I, I think do. that's how i feel too like for certain for this reason like you can be talking to your man he understand you a hundred percent but when it come to something about him he playing he, dumb like he, he don't want to listen he don't understand you at all that shit pisses me that off. shit irritates my soul and, and i really hate when i have to feel like i have to teach a man how to be a man why am i opening this door baby if i can't find I you on my, put my hand on i'm door. not dealing with that if i can't follow <laughs> you on my taxes and claim you as a dependent I'm not dealing with none of that, okay? I don't yeah, want to raise no, no boy to be a man. What, what, um, what's her name? Kate Michelle said, but you can't raise a man. I don't want to raise no man. Yeah, nah, The nah, man nah. that I choose to be. Your mama should have did that for you. And, oh, your grandma. She ain't going to leave it up to me to do that. No. To go back home. Cause I'm a, Miss Shirley, get your son. Because <laughs> I ain't got time to tell nobody kids that ain't come out of my coochie, okay? 
Okay, so what's your turn ons about a man? When he's being a man. <laughs> his mannerism, his aura, mm. he's just he get he takes care of business. He loves his mom. He loves his mother and respects his mother, mm-hmm. any woman in his life. Mm-hmm. He knows how to talk to you without belittling you. He knows when to listen. Say it. And when to understand. Yes, Lord. That's, that's why I said I love a man when he's a man. I don't have to say too much. Because a man knows. A little boy going to question, oh, that bitch ain't talking about. Nah, 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 nah. a man going to be like, yeah, you right. And yeah. that's what I like about my man. I think I like the I little things. I'm still single though. So if anybody <laughs> out here, you know, call me. I think I like the little things. Like, if we're in a club and we out of weed or something like that, <gasps> you see I'm over here fiending, ready to smoke. Okay. You gonna take it out? You ain't gonna find one of these niggas up in this club and buy some weed from because oh his so his bitch can smoke. Yeah, that's the, it's the little shit for me. So I'm like, oh, you care about my habits? Okay, you yeah. care about my bad habits? At that. Okay, that's that's you really love me when you know that's a turn off for me. But I'm just saying, <laughs> <laughs> like you really you really thought about me, babe. Like seriously, mm-hmm. like. It, you're right. I do love the little things. It's always the things that you necessarily don't think that a mean man. a lot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like you hungry. Let's say, for example, you at home chilling with your man. Your man go to the gas station and you say you don't want nothing. But then he come back with your favorite snack. He come back and, with an extra bag of flaming Hot Cheetos. <laughs> or a Rice Krispie treat with a Sprite. You got the Hot Cheetos. And I'm just like, man, you love me. Whoop your dick out. Just yeah. whip it out. <laughs> just whip it out now. Because yeah. it's just... <laughs> At this point, I love you. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna act like your baby mama right there on okay. the couch. I'm gonna act like your mama right there. I'm gonna show her how. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That part. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, that's that's that when it comes to do's and don'ts. Yeah, honestly. I, mean, I know what I want. It's just. Okay, at a so point in my life, I'm feeling real selfish. Like, okay. I don't have any kids. Um, I'm doing my music thing. Mm-hmm. I don't want nobody in the way, I don't want a distraction. I do not want a distraction because I've seen what it can do. It takes you away from writing. It takes you away from music. It takes you away from doing what you need to do. Once I get to that point where I'm doing what I need to do and I'm getting finally paid for everything that I'm doing, then I can focus on the love aspect. But right now, I feel like I have the right to be selfish and in my motherfucking zone. Yeah, as you should. If y'all know me and y'all know me and Bougie relationship, every time I get stressed, I call her like, friend, don't ever have kids. Don't ever have kids. I call her like, please don't get pregnant. Listen, don't get pregnant, okay? And one thing my I, friends ain't taught me <clears throat> is they taught me to not have no kids right now. <laughs> not saying it's a bad Baby, thing. Not, I like not to be saying on it's a bad thing at all because I love yeah. becoming a mother. Honestly, mm-hmm. I'm not going to hold you. Becoming a mother definitely pushed me more on the entrepreneurship and wanting to hustle more. Like, yeah. you know, a little saying, I need a son to make me motivated or right. something like that. My daughter definitely motivated me. But also with that motivation, definitely sometimes comes struggle. And sometimes I'd be like, damn, I just wish I didn't have to deal with the struggle shit. But, you know, it just tests you on how hard your hustle is. For yeah. sure, for sure. But, friend, don't have no kids right now. For sure. Make it first. Get, like, a Grammy or something. Then pop out with, like, two of them. Yeah, back to back, back to back, back to back. <laughs> Hopefully I'll have another one by then because I ain't, I ain't having no more kids right now. I'm one and done. For sure. Let's take our last cheers. 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 Sorry, I had to pull out the bottle on y'all because <laughs> clearly my drink is gone. I've been babysitting. <laughs> I've been babysitting my little wine. You know, Taylor Port, you get mm. one drink of it. Mm-hmm. 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 Can't do the wine. Sorry. I love wine, baby. I love tequila, wine, cognac, whiskey. Nah, I don't really like whiskey. Whiskey, a little, uh, whiskey for that grown man like my grandpa. But Oh, yeah, whiskey, no. Yeah, no. No, no, no. But, but why yeah. <laughs> all the time? See, why make you feel sexy? <laughs> and that's how you know we get lit. Because we get talking to And we be still drifting off into shit. Okay, y'all. It's but yes, that's all we're going to get into for this episode of the Bougie Way Podcast. Yes, but make sure you tune in next week because we're going to have a special guest for y'all. And it's so, so mad. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Yeah. If it ain't the right way, it ain't the wrong way. It's the motherfucking Bougie, bougie Way. way. Over out, y'all. Adios, amigos. <laughs>